Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa chaired the cabinet at Sakir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty praised the development of the National March in all fields and hailed the development of the government work headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister that is contributing to the advancement of the comprehensive development of the Kingdom as well as meeting the aspiration of the people of Bahrain. His Majesty praised the national initiatives that contributed to these developments and showcased the strong will of Bahrainis in achieving further progress. His Majesty directed to continue the good work to make further accomplishments for the benefit of the country and its people. His Majesty referred to the achievements that have been made through the comprehensive development process which have risen from the state of institutions and law and have constituted a unique asset in promoting popular participation in decision making. He directed ministries and government bodies to provide all elements of success to the upcoming elections. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the members of the Shura and Representatives Councils throughout their five legislative terms for their patriotic work that contributed to making numerous achievements for the country and its people, thanks to the cooperation and joint international work between the executive and legislative authority. His Majesty then praised the outcomes of his visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and briefed the cabinet on his meeting with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The Cabinet then congratulated His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman on his appointment as Prime Minister, following the royal order issued by the Saudi King, wishing him success in assuming his national duty to make further progress and prosperity for Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the Saudi King. His Majesty the King welcomed the official and historic visit of His Holiness Pope Francis to the Kingdom, which comes at the invitation of His Majesty the King and an appreciation for Bahrain's status as an oasis of coexistence throughout history. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness on consolidating the values of tolerance and plurality to support world peace and establish noble humanitarian principles. His Majesty congratulated the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations on the occasion of the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad's birthday, wishing them many happy returns. His Majesty the King hailed the role of the Bahraini teachers and their achievements throughout history in contributing to the creation of generations that are capable of effective contribution to the Kingdom's comprehensive development process. He affirmed that the nation highly appreciates teachers' efforts for their belief in their role in the development of nations. He congratulated all teachers in Bahrain on the occasion of the World Teachers' Day, wishing them success in educational tasks. The Cabinet then reviewed international developments where His Majesty noted the importance of unifying efforts to establish continuous and comprehensive peace to ensure the interests of all countries and their national security. His Majesty reiterated his affirmation of the importance of activating dialogue, negotiation and peace of solutions to achieve peace and growth for all. For his part, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, on behalf of the Government, expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his appreciation for the Government's role in the national action process. He asserted that the Royal Appreciation is a great responsibility that requires a one-team spirit to achieve His Majesty's aspirations for the interest of the nation and its people. His Royal Highness directed ministries and government institutions to implement His Majesty's directive by dedicating all potentialities and providing all facilitations that support the smooth conduct of the electoral process for the upcoming parliamentary elections in an atmosphere that ensures transparency and integrity. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Asian Football Confederation President Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa on his re-election uncontested for a third term. His Majesty praised the efforts made by Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim healing the AFC achievements and Asian football strides during his tenure. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Adil bin Abdul Rahman Al Asumi for his re-election as Speaker of the Arab Parliament for a second term at the procedural session of the Arab Parliament held at the Arab League headquarters in Cairo. His Majesty the King extended his sincere congratulations to Al Asumi on winning the trust of the Arab Parliament members, which reflects Bahraini's competence and merit in assuming posts and responsibilities on the Arab and international levels. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the victory of the Royal Endurance Team. Led by representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the FEI Endurance World Championship for Young Horses 120 km race. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister noted that the victory is the result of His Majesty the King's unwavering support of the Kingdom's equestrian sports and commended Bahrain's endurance achievements. His Royal Highness noted that the Royal Endurance Team's victory, led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, reflects Team Bahrain's determination to succeed in all fields. He commended His Highness Sheikh Nasser's efforts to improve Bahrain equestrian sports regionally and globally, as well as the Royal Team's efforts and achievements in this field. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the victory of the Royal Endurance Team in the FEI Endurance World Championship 120 km race. His Royal Highness noted that the victory reflects the visions and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as Team Bahrain's determination to develop equestrian sports in the kingdom. He commended His Highness Sheikh Nasser's global achievement and his leadership of the Royal Endurance Team, highlighting the achievement as a source of pride for the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister commended the Royal Endurance Team's efforts in the Championship, noting that Bahrain will continue to achieve success regionally and globally through their determination. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the Asian Football Confederation, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on his re-election as AFC President for a third term. His Royal Highness commended Sheikh Salman's contributions and efforts to develop Asian football during his tenure. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Adil bin Abdul Rahman Al Asumi on his re election as Arab Parliament Speaker for a second term during the procedural session, which was held at the Arab League headquarters in Cairo, Egypt. His Royal Highness congratulated Al Asumi on gaining the confidence of the Arab Parliament members, which reflects Team Bahrain's competence and merit in assuming positions and responsibilities regionally and globally. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Imam bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued a circulator regarding the public holiday of the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad's birthday. Under the circular, the Kingdom's ministries, state departments and public institutions will be closed on Saturday the 8th of October 2022. The circular added that Saturday is already an unofficial holiday. Sunday the 9th of October will be given in lieu. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian and Work and Youth Affairs, Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for His Highness winning the title of World Championship for eight year old horses, which is held in Spain, with the participation of more than 57 riders representing 20 countries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted that this achievement is the result of the support and follow up of His Majesty the King to Bahraini equestrian sport which proved its outstanding potential. His Highness also noted that the well-deserved world title was the result of the greater efforts made by the team throughout the race, praising the constant support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his keenness to present full support for the Bahraini equestrian sport. With the follow-up of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Nasser registered a new record in addition to a series of His Highness's past great achievements. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's victory is a confirmation of the care and support that the equestrian sports enjoy from His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also affirmed that this victory embodies the greater effort made by His Highness Sheikh Nasser over the past period in the ideal preparation for this participation, which demonstrated the great capabilities of His Highness and his keenness to continue the development of the Bahraini endurance sport. 
for his part, ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Kingdom, and a non-resident ambassador to the Kingdom of Spain, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser's victory as an addition to His Highness's outstanding accomplishments. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was crowned the first place, the jockey Lucia from Uruguay took second place, and the jockey Carlos from Spain came third place, and the Royal Knight, Khalid Mohammed Al Rawahi, won the fifth place. His Highness Sheikh Nasser's horse, de Galema, was also crowned the best horse condition. His Highness finished the first stage as a joint lead on the horse de Galema with riders from the UAE and Spain. His Highness was to guide the jockeys during these stages, especially as the Royal Team participates with young riders within his framework of His Highness's vision, aimed at creating a young generation capable of continuing the prosperity and development of the Bahraini endurance sport. The Royal Endurance Team proceeded in the first stages according to the plan and directions set by His Highness. محمد مبروك طال عمرك ما من شك بان السباق اللي صار اليوم والفوز اللي حققته يعني بريليانت مثل ما يقولون باللغه الانجليزيه اي نعم والله اللهم لك الحمد اول شيء انت تعرف هذه في لحظه انا الحين ما اقدر اوصف لك فيها احنا عارفين الوصف بس نسمع منك الفرحه ولا التعب ولا التمرين اللي خضناه ولا تمرين الشخص اللي انا خضته ووصلت لهذا الوزن تعب شهور مو بتعب يوم ولا اسبوع. فكل اللي ابي اسويه الحين اني اريح واحاول استوعب هذا الفوز لكن قبل لا احاول استوعب ابغي اهديه لسيدي جلاله الملك الله يطول عمره. اللي من الصبح وهو يتابع وياي والعيال نفس الشيء قبل الله سافر من البحرين هم ووالدتهم قالوا لي انت ايش فيك متحفز قبل السباق؟ انت بتروح بتفوز وبترجع لنا. فالحمد لله ما خيب ظن اي اي احد. وجه السعد طال عمرك لعيال وام العيال واهل البحرين كلهم. الحمد اللهم لك الحمد. والعمر بالنسبه الى السباق لاحظنا ان المنافسه كانت قويه في المرحله الاولى وتكررت في المرحله الاخيره بفضل خبرتك طويل العمر قدرت ان انت تطلع المقدمه وتكون انت البطل يعني. جازفنا وغامرنا لابعد الحدود يمكن ما قد وصلنا لهذه المجازفه من قبل لكن اللي يبي الفوز لازم يروح مستميت ما عنده خيار ثاني والحمد لله. بارك لك طول العمر يعني هذا انجاز كبير واخوكم وعضيدكم سمو الشيخ ناصر بلا شك هي فرحه عامره يعني. الله يبارك فيك، طبعا ابو حمد ما قصر هذه مو باي بطوله. هاي بطوله العالم للثمان سنوات الجيل الثمان سنوات. وطبعا اقوى الخيل موجوده فيها، الحمد لله ان ناصر اثبت وانجز جدارته جداره الخيل اللي عندنا وفي هالمستوى من السباقات والحمد لله. اعتقد طول العمر ان السباق كان فعلا مثير من البدايه الى النهايه، طبعا المنافسه اللي كانت في المرحله الاولى تكررت مع الختام يعني. والله طبعا يعني هذا الانجاز يعني من اول الصبح هو يعني التحدي قوي والمنافسه كانت قويه، لكن الحمد لله في النهايه احنا نهدي هالانجاز وهالفوز وهال 
المستوى سيدي جلاله الملك والشعب البحرين كله واعتقد ان متابعه سيدي جلاله الملك من المرحله الاولى الى الاخيره دافع كبير كان لكم كلكم يعني. نعم اكيد بلا شك وهي مو بغريب على سيدي جلاله الملك يعني هو من من بدايه السباق هو يتابع المجريات كلها The Kingdom of Bahrain has a strong status in endurance sport and many accomplishments on the global level. More in this report. Bahrain enhanced its status in endurance sport and earned an international reputation, which was achieved as a result of the royal support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Royal Endurance Team, and this support contributed to many accomplishments in international high-profile events. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and the leader of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has always directed the implementation of plans that aim to achieve the best results that add to the series of achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Bahrain Endurance Sport has made many achievements during the last period, and the presence of the Royal Team in the current World Championship is proof of the successes recorded by the Royal Team led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser in European forums, the last of which was winning three consecutive titles this season, starting from the Windsor Championship and passing through the title of the Championship Montalcino in Italy, and then the Slovak International Championship, which confers the distinguished status of Bahraini Endurance Sports on the international level. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian and working youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a number of congratulatory cables from ministers on achievement of the Royal Endurance Team, led by His Highness, winning the World Championship for a young horse for a distance of 120 kilometers held in Spain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser received cables from the Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tafik Al Muayyad, the Minister of Municipality Affairs and Agriculture, Wal bin Nasser Al Mubarak, the Minister of Oil and Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, the Minister of Works, Ibrahim bin Hassan Al Hawaj, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf bin Mohammed Al Muwada, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Minister Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, and the Minister of Information Affairs, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Al Noemi. The ministers commend the achievement and capabilities of His Highness Sheikh Nasser for winning first place in the championship and praise the capabilities of His Highness, which reflects the development of Bahraini sport thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and the continuous follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of all sports activities. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fasiya bin Abdullah Zanal, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the victory of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa of the title of the World Championship for eight year old horses, which is held in Spain. Zanal asserted that this world achievement comes thanks to the royal patronage of sports and athletes in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the keenness of His Majesty the King to support the people of the country in international forums. Zanal also extended his sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking this outstanding global sporting achievement, which confirms the keenness of the wise leadership and esteemed government to support sports in all forums. Zanal sent a congratulatory cable to His Highness Sheikh Nasser on His Highness's global achievement, praising the efforts of His Highness and the Royal Team. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Yasser bin Ibrahim Hamidan, headed a delegation to Saudi Arabia as part of enhancing cooperation in various developmental fields. The Minister met with the Saudi Minister of Environment, Water and Agriculture, Abdurrahman bin Abdulmohsen Al Fadli, and discussed topics of common interest. Hamidan said that the historical depth of Bahraini Saudi relations is the basis of cooperation and integration between the two ministries. He noted the support these relations received from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The ministers agreed to continue their cooperation to serve the common sectors through the formation of joint technical task forces to work on shared goals and contribute to enhancing water, environmental and energy security. 
The president of the Asian Football Confederation, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the continuous royal support to the people of Bahrain and the encouragement to make achievements in various continental, global and sports organisations and authorities, adding that it reflects His Majesty's keenness and motivating them to serve Asian football and increase its achievements. Sheikh Salman affirmed that His Majesty's support is the strongest motivator to exert further efforts to develop programmes and plans aimed at achieving the goals of Asian football. He pledged to continue to work with dedication to prove the competence of the people of Bahrain in shouldering the responsibility of continental and international sports organisations. Sheikh Salman also expressed pride in the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to continue to lead the AFC to further successes. The entire Asian family renewed its confidence in Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa to be the president of the Asian Football Confederation for a third term. More in this report. The president of the Asian Football Confederation, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, has become the only candidate for the presidency of the Continental Confederation for the 2023 to 2027 elections. This great achievement reflects the appreciation of the National Confederation and the Asian continent for the clear role played by the leadership of the Asian Confederation in developing and implementing many vital programs, initiatives and projects that have positively impacted the game's progress. With the closing of the candidacy for the presidency, it was agreed to renew confidence in Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim as president of the Continental Confederation after he received official messages of support from all of the 47 Asian national associations. During the presidency of Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim, Asian football witnessed an era of stability and clear achievements when the new president succeeded in translating the slogan United Asia during his presidency. The activities of the Nasaha Programme for Community Monitoring of Elections, organised by the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, began as part of the specialised phase of the National Programme for Parliamentary and Municipal Elections, DARB II. The programme started its first workshop entitled The Legal System of the Oversight Process in Elections, which focused on the importance of societal monitoring of national elections. Nazaha is a specialised training programme to be offered in conjunction with the upcoming national elections. It focuses on five main themes presented by a group of academics and experts in the field, namely the legal system of the oversight process in elections, the skills of monitoring the electoral process and the candidates' electoral campaigns, the ethics and behaviour of the monitor and finally the preparation of the final report of the monitoring of the elections. The programme was launched with the aim of providing participants with the necessary skills and expertise in monitoring elections at all stages, leading to the preparation of the final monitoring reports.